Hi, I'm Mark with the GameSite support team, and this video will be covering GameSite's integration with Google Ads. This integration enables you to not only traffic your campaigns using one simple tracking link from GameSite, but it can also enable cost aggregation syncing so that you're seeing Google's reported clicks and Google's impressions and Google's reported costs directly inside of your GameSite dashboard. Um, additionally, that integration is also going to enable you to set up postbacks to get your attributed conversions from game sites sent back to Google Ads, which is going to enable automated campaign optimization, audience building, retargeting, and all of that awesome stuff that we want for our campaigns to perform better. So the first step is to get our Google Ads tracker created. You can do that directly through your game site account by clicking on acquisition, followed by clicking on trackers. And then we have a green create button up here for all of the trackers that you want to create. So clicking on that will bring up a search field. In this search box, we can just type in Google or Google Ads completely. Next, we'll click on use Google Ads and then authorize with Google Ads. This is going to take you through an OAuth flow where your Google Ads account gets synced up with GameSite and linked to GameSite automatically, enabling the integration that we're looking for. Next, you'll have a customer ID field here. If you're linking your master account, you'll have an additional field that will populate below saying managed customer IDs, where you can choose multiple IDs or multiple accounts if you'd like. But in this case, I'm just going to go ahead and link up one individual account just for the demo purpose here. So if we click on next, we now have this game site click URL that you'll see for the Google Ads tracker. So using this network level click URL will sync your entire campaign setup from the campaign level all the way down to the ad level in Google Ads back to your reporting and game site. So the important thing to be aware of is that this long click URL is going to go into the tracking template field of your campaign in Google Ads, while the final URL is going to be where you are driving traffic. So the final URL is always going to be your landing page. And by final URL, we're looking at this field right here in the keywords and ads section of your campaign creation, whereas the tracking template field under the campaign URL options, this is where the game site link has to go. Otherwise your ads could be rejected. You might get some errors stating that the final and tracking template URLs don't lead to the same place. So just make sure that you're always putting the game site click URL into the tracking template field here as shown. And then the final URL is just wherever you're driving traffic. So your final landing page. And you can also set up multiple campaigns using the same exact game site click URL over and over and over. Um, in all of your campaigns. So if you're driving to different landing pages, Google makes this very easy because all you have to do is continue using the same game site click tracker. You don't have to change this link or modify it in any way. You just continue putting this network level link directly in the tracking template field. And then if you want to do some A-B testing, testing a landing page against driving directly to a storefront could be one example. All you have to do is just change the final URL to your new landing page. Now that we have our Google Ads tracker created and our Google Ads account is linked to GameSite, the next step is to create conversion trackers in Google Ads for the post backs that we want to set up in GameSite. So each individual goal that you create in GameSite that you want to track, measure, optimize towards in your campaigns, you can set up post backs for these different goals and then have that information, that attributed conversion data sent back to Google Ads where they can further optimize your campaign's performance. So what that looks like is just going into your Google Ads account. At the very top, we can click on Tools and Settings. From here, we go to Conversions. This will lead you to this page here. Now you just click New Conversion Action. You have to make sure that you click on Import, and then you're going to choose Other Data Sources or CRMs, followed by Track Conversions from Clicks. From there, we can click Next. And then we're just going to fill out this page um, however you want to. This is going to change. Mileage will vary. It's going to be a little bit different for everybody. Maybe you have a different goal in action optimization, a, a different um, you know, conversion name that you wanted to use. The value could be different. But I'll just go ahead and use our typical setup settings. Um, and we'll name this conversion name game site testing just for testing purposes here so that it really stands out. We'll even add a one, two, three there. Um, we'll use the same conversion value for each conversion just to make this easy. We'll leave this as a one for count. We'll use the recommended option of every as well as the recommended data-driven attribution method. We'll click create and continue. And this is another important part is to make sure that we keep this as import from data platform. You don't have to search for game site here. You will not find it. 
Um, but this is required so that we can get those offline conversions uploaded back to Google Ads. From here, we can click Finish. We'll see our conversion tracker is now populated down here. It's game site testing one, two, three. So if I come back to game site, just give the page a little refresh. Under our postbacks for purchase, now we should see game site one, two, three populated. So we can go ahead and select that conversion tracker. And now this is where all of these different purchase goals will be sent back directly to this conversion tracker where it's going to be automatically optimized in Google ads for your campaign. And that is the last step in this entire process is just making sure that we have postbacks set up for all of the different goals that we want to have sent back to Google ads in this case. So if we wanted to add another postback, we could simply click add postback. From here, we can search for any of the goals that we currently have set up in game site. So if we wanted one for reactivations or DLC purchases, I could choose DLC purchase. And then the recommended step would be to repeat the conversion tracker setup so that you can create a brand new conversion tracker for that DLC purchase goal. And you'll just continue repeating that process for every postback that you want to set up just by creating a new conversion tracker for that goal that you're posting back to Google Ads. So I hope this video was helpful. We have text documentation below this video on our website, but as always, feel free to reach out to us with any questions that you have about Google Ads, trackers, or postbacks in general. We're always happy to help.